Hey guys, I'm Cody Eiley. We got a 9230 over here. We're going to put some Eiley fabrication liners in the throat. So we've got the throat off right now. You can either do it with the throat on the combine, but we had to take the throat off because we took the transition cone out and we were working on the guts on the inside. So what we have products today is the feeder house floors. They're 12 gauge, made out of Hardox 450, hardened steel. We're gonna throw them in the floor today. When it, the throat is on the combine, you have to go in from the front. We've got a 9120, we did it last year. It can be done. It's a lot easier doing it this way. So we took the feeder chain out. We took the feeder drive sprocket out because the splines were shot on it. So all that's gonna get replaced today anyway. We took the rock shaft beater out. So it's gonna be a lot easier for us to do this. Now, if it's on the combine, if the throat's on the combine, you have to take your front drum out, you have to take your front face plate off. Same concept goes. All that stuff has to go out, but you can keep this, these two splines in if you do it this way. Right here we have the front face plate off. That has to come off. What I did was I welded a piece that's sold separately from this kit. This is the old piece. It's worn out thin down to nothing. So Eiley Fabrication sells apart. You lay it up there, you trace it out, you plasma cut it, and then you weld it, grind it flat. We've got pictures on that too. So that's what I did first. Now I'm gonna install the feeder house floors. There's three separate parts to this. They only go in one way. You can't mess it up. You can either bolt them in for installation or you can weld them. Today we're gonna to be welding them in. A lot of farmers like welding them in. It's simple, it's easy. And if they're in the field, they gotta get it done. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this floor in. Now it's way easier with the throat off, but if you don't do it, if you do it with the throat on the combine, everything comes from the front. Slides right in just like that. Now we're gonna put the second one in. Second one going in. Now notice how there's lips. We pre-bend them so the lip slides right into this floor. Perfect fit. Push it right up until it falls in those lips. There's separate sections here. There's three sections. Okay, last piece going in. Notice how there's cutouts right here? That's for the curvature of the throat. They have to go this way. I usually slide it past that one, let it fall down, and then bring it back. Now I'm going to bring it back, and it's going to lock right in here. That's why we have those cutouts. So bring it all the way down until it stops on these. See how you're flush? Now you can move these back and forth. Just go until you cover that front lip. Right about there. Okay, now that you have every piece installed and where you want it, make sure you're covering the lip on the front side and the back side on each liner. Each liner has a pre-bend in it for the curvature of the floor. Once you have that in, we're gonna get to welding. So before you wanna weld these in, you wanna make sure that they're flush down to the floor. Every combine's floor is going to be different. This floor is worn very thin and it's also had some rocks through it. So it's got some indents on the bottom of the pan of the floor. So we just need to make sure that we use a jack, bottle jack, anything, just to suck it down to the floor before you weld it. Now we got the liner where we want it. We're in spot weld. Now where these holes are that we cut out for you, that's where the, either the bolts can go or you can plug weld them. Today we're gonna plug weld them in. Just make sure that you've got a good consistency with the bottom of the pan and the liner that we make, okay? 
we've got this inspection door off. It's a lot easier to do with the inspection door off. So I'm going to weld these up. So that completes the install, you guys, of the Feeder House Floor Liners um, sold by Alley Fabrications. Check us out if you guys got any questions, concerns, don't hesitate to call or ask. Um, we've got guys that know, know a lot about combines. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Check out our website, alleyfabrications.com. Thanks, guys.